You can trust in me. Leave it to me. Real cheap today. Malvino's ring. Rumors say it's a cursed treasure that kills anyone who wears it. I happen to know of a certain noble who wants it, and I'd love for him to owe me a favor. So you want us to get it for you? That's more of a hassle than getting the dagger back ourselves! Then by all means, do it yourselves. Yes, these sorts are terribly crafty, but it's not impossible, probably. The way you talk... almost feels like you've been in on this from the beginning. <laughs> Good one. We just happen to be in the same boat, so why not lend each other a hand? All in the same boat, huh? Well, the choice is yours. Hmm. If I recall correctly, you're a candidate in the tournament for the throne, aren't you? So you know us, then. Information is a powerful weapon, you see. Considering what I know about you, I'm offering you a good deal here. Mark my words. Once your dagger's sold off, it will be incredibly difficult to track down. But leave it to me, and I'll get it back before that. Of course, I'm no miracle worker, and the clock's ticking, so do make up your mind. Fine. We'll hear you out. For now. The ring you mentioned, where's it located? At a grave not too far from here. A day's trip in your runner, I'd wager. Word is there's monsters knocking about out there. Hence my request to the lad with the sword at his side. It's not all bad, though. You'll find good weapons, armor, and other golden things are plenty there. I do recall hearing something about soldiers who died in the Annex War being buried with their equipment. I assure you, it's well worth the trip. We have to go through with this to get the dagger back. I'm having a hard time dealing with him, so I'll let you take over from here. Your fairy friend doesn't seem to like me very much. What say you, though? Hopefully I find your ring amongst the treasure. Thank you for making such a prompt decision. Call me Kukulis. The ring should be in the abandoned tomb. I'll thank you properly when you return with it. This one's important. I implore you. This place. I'll be waiting. <sighs> All right then.
All right, then. Where to? be fine.
<laughs> All right, then. Where to? such a thing. What are the gods doing? God's doing. All right, then. Now, what am I to do? <laughs> Worth a try. Good, good.
<laughs> All right. <sighs> Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. It's nearly time. Somehow. We should hurry. Check this out. Take a look. What now? How Where to? Please help. Let's give it a shot. What now? Speaking of, should we go in? Well, then. and focus. That. Huh. 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 All right. 
Get down that. something. Take it to the <laughs> Impressive. Your training has paid off. Looks like it could be useful. I don't like this. However... Let's go! Ah. Greater power
to vanquish evil. Let's try this. Tougher than I thought. Let's go. Light! Not 
bad if I say so myself. I'll strive for greater heights. Oh, I didn't know I had it in me. Good find. Thank you. Speaking of... <laughs> you see? Somehow... Hmm... Is on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. We ought to proceed with caution. Oh. All right, then. Where to?
Sorry. Well, oh. I'm sorry. Listen. way. Okay?
Me too. That's why it's all right. Okay. Yeah. Mister. <laughs> it's okay. I can really stay. I see. <laughs> Thank you. What to pick? All right then. Let's go. Really? Here's where we are now. <laughs> we'll face danger here. Let's. Let's. Let's see. All right. <sighs> All right then. Let's go. All right then. Let's go. Really? All right then. Let's go. More people missing. All right then. Now what am I to do? Worth a try, yeah? Good. Hey. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Time marches on and the age of a new king draws nearer. Hey! I suppose... Let's head there. All right then. All right then. Missing. What now? 
Looks like everyone's here. to do that. There is much to see. It's... See you later. All right, then. Let's go! What were the guards doing? <laughs> What is it? What you want to... Oh, Here's the real skinny. I think we have a fit. Great. Let's move out. They head to a cave said to consume all who enter. Does the dark, narrow path lead only to the innards of a monstrous insect? Perhaps. What to pick? All right, then. being the case.
The party at last arrives in the village of Comero, a small farming settlement southeast of Martira. Blessed by the mild climate, its ranches had gained a reputation as though welcome. Giving it some thought? Grotto. How many weary travelers, traveling merchants, and treasure hunters have fallen prey to it? Behind its innocuous looking entrance, untold monsters lie in wait, impatient for their next meal. The gauntlet runner comes to a stop, the entrance beckoning its visitors invitingly. What lies in its depths? Treasure or death? Let's stash that somewhere safe. Okay. 
Okay, so... and move on. Take it and move on. have fallen. We are How's that? Let's take them all out. Right. Excellent. I've grown more powerful. Our immediate vicinity is secure. We should be safe.
it's useful, I say grab it. Whoa. Well, well. Ah. That was yeah, well done. I, come on. I think we got them all. We'll be safe for a while. Let me rethink. Uh, come forth, royal soul. Light. For all the great strive for. You now accept your fate. In the 
name of justice. Just hold on, Isaac. Here. Hold it. It's Your okay. Down. We can. I won't hold back. We can do this. Quite a boon. You see? Somehow. Guess we're splitting up. <sighs> Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Let's go.
All right. Well done. Uh. All right, then. Where to? Let's go! If so... Mm. 
What? Oh! Eureka! Thank you. Even so. What? Yeah. Goodness. Journey together, what? Speaking of... Right then. This one's important. Time marches on and the age of a new king draws nearer. What should we do? More people All right, seen. All right, then. All right, then. God's doing. Everyone's here. Now then. Interesting. Oh, I smell trouble. And right there, what are we doing there again? Should be a good time. It's your call. Let's be off. Taking up the request of the man in Martira, the gauntlet runner makes its way southwest of the town. The mysterious individual could very well become a source of new power, though they have yet to quite grasp that. What to pick?
fix that. A greenhorn like you is years, centuries, from deserving a land runner. You'd be the rapscallions who crashed the opening ceremony. A young man like you, our king. Ha! <laughs> Laughable. What's your problem? The name's Godard. The rightful heir to the throne and the voice of the rogue tribe. Tax the young, bankroll the elderly, those too old to work, will know prosperity under my rule. You little jackanapes will kneel before your betters and elders, and if you will... My cue, I think! And what's the play? We don't want more oh, things to our of king. sacrifice! What a blunder! Oh, I like okay, to let's that. go! No holding back! Tougher than I thought! Magic meddling! I'll run you through! Remember, we all grow old. The blade you hold to my throat will be at your own soon enough. Nobody's trying to massacre the elderly, you old goat! We want equal happiness for all, young and old. God above! Look, we'll not kill you here. How's that for respecting our elders? But mark me, this will not happen again. <sighs> Far too naive. But I suppose that's the luxury of youth. Not bad, if I say so myself. I feel stronger. Excellent! I've grown more powerful! Spectacular! The Gauntlet Runner at last arrives at an encampment as darkness overcomes the wilds. Nightfall, the time of hunting for monster kind. Even with the Gauntlet Runner, it is no time for travel. As monsters come more alive with every breath, the thirst for adventure is quenched. All right, then. All right, then. All right, then. Go.
time marches on and the age of a new king draws nearer. What to pick? All right, then. The party finally arrives at the abandoned tomb. It is said an affluent aristocrat is entombed here. However, if true, his only visitors these days are tomb robbers seeking his wealth. Are the rare blades and shimmering jewelry merely a trap to draw in more victims or something else entirely? No, then. on track. Hmm. Well. Here we go. What am I to do? That's...
And that could be of use. Ah! <laughs> 
Fight. Ah! Let me rethink this. All yours. Is it Let justice prevail? Burst their own face! It didn't affect them! Only two enemies left! Stay sharp! See? Some dark time to end this! I will play the magic seeker! Wasn't enough? I can't afford to hold back. Go for it! Only magic knife! They yet cling to life. And that's that! Victory's out! 
That'll do. Effort is key.
Everything sword master! I can slap and die hard! Shall rise to the account. I continue to grow. Ah, I didn't I retain my edge. edge. Let's take it and move on.
All right. <laughs> Yes. Uh, hold on. Still, though. <laughs> oh. uh, hold on. You see? Somehow. Guess we're splitting up. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. We've got to hurry. More people missing. All right, then. Really? Mm. 
All right, then. All right, then. What should we do? Interesting.
Well then, Greetings. The truth is... Well then. Truth is... What? Remember those winning strategies I mentioned? Well, the first lesson starts now. I imagine you've led a rather rough life, considering the tribe you hail from. The world is full of unsavory sorts. That's why if you want to improve your life, you must never show a scoundrel mercy. If you're made a fool, you must pay it back in spades. Kindness is weakness, and the weak get robbed blind. Thanks. Regard this not as the art of deception, but rather how to steal hearts. The morally sound way, of course. A wise choice. The devious schemer, Alonzo. Within him dwells the virtue of the Faker. Nurture thy bond with him, and a new power yet slumbering within thee may awaken. I assumed you were but a momentary distraction, but there's more to you than that. Who wears the crown next matters little to me. But if it's you, I wager it'll be quite a ride. I'll be heading to Brylehaven after this. Let's meet again there. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. There's no time. Who is this? 
Hmm. All right, then. Take a look. Ah. Now what am I to do? All right, then. Set. What do you think? Got it. Okay. Yeah. I'm going. Stay present and focused. <laughs> If you see a use for it, I say take it with you. Right now. You can trust in me. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. I can see the power within. How's that? I shall rise to the occasion. I knew I could count on you. Looks like they found us. Push through. Come on. How's that? That's there they are. This could be our chance. I will be. Yeah. Tough one. Oh, not too shabby. Let's keep this up, everyone. Our foes are vanquished. 
for it, I say take it with you. Lose focus. Got it. Uh. Uh. 
All right. Whew. Be that as it may. Fine. Looks like it could be useful. <laughs> Ha! <laughs> 
I'd like let you. Just a sec. All good. You see? Dash that somewhere uh, better. Uh.
just take it. You can always toss it later. <laughs> Push through. <laughs> Amazing! Great moves back there. <laughs> nice find. Looks like it could be useful. <laughs> I knew you could do it. We cannot avoid this fight. Stand here. All right. How's that? A preemptive strike. Get in there. Let's stay calm. You're here? I sh uh -huh. And that's that! Victory's out! A halfway decent result. I think that's all of them. Right, I could get used to this. I 
acquired a new power. Good. I'm still getting stronger. I see. Fascinating. This right here. All right. I'm counting on you. Of course. I see. power.
do it. However... For sure. Wait. Wow. Enough. Make it? Hold on. Please. So? Ah. Wait! <laughs> ah. 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 That should come in handy. Pocket it. Great find. Keep it. What do you think? Got it. Get ready. 
Fear not. Take it. Oh, it later. Nice. You're gaining strength. Oh. <laughs> My thanks. Coming. We got I can feel the power coursing through me. You're a lifesaver. Okay. <sighs> got it. What? Hurry. <laughs> this looks valuable. I can't believe it. What now? Right. I could get used to this. I see. Fascinating. This right here. All right. And count, of course. Yeah. A new ability! All right.
This is... I see. <clears throat> if you see a use for it, I say take it with you. Let's hurry. Joanna was childless. At least right now. Didn't Burden say something about that? A strange thing to find locked away, isn't it? This portrait, tis most odd as well. Tis common for the noblesse to have a portrait painted in celebration of their child's birth. But this one depicts neither her husband nor child. You know, you're right. I haven't really seen many portraits of a pregnant wife alone. Hey, look! A diary. Looks like it belonged to the nurse who raised Joanna's son. I see. Apparently, Joanna was unmarried, never formally bound in marriage to the father of her child. So, twas a love child? An illicit affair? Apparently so. At least here in Martira. The father was a foreigner of another tribe. Their marriage would never have been accepted. The traditionalists always say mixed blood children are abominations. Terrible omens. And superstitions like that tend to carry a lot more weight in the countryside. Joanna brushed it off. Said it was ridiculous and irrational. She was about to announce the child's birth. The old woman. The nanny they'd hired. She killed the boy in his crib. What? Seems like this was around the time the human sightings were becoming more widespread. It would be easy to ascribe the birth as the ill-fated omen. But to justify murdering a child? Joanna's family was overjoyed. The deed kept the abomination out of the public eye. They never even investigated her crime. And Joanna's love, the father, was banished from the city. The nurse's diary concludes, Oh God, please forgive me for my sin most wicked. Oh. Let's move on. This is looking worse by the minute.
What? Here already? <laughs> Is that a baby? <laughs> nope, not a baby. <laughs> Are you hungry? Oh, so fussy today. <laughs> Monster. Is it a human? <laughs> this is the child you hold so dear? So, all the victims you kidnapped. Oh, my darling has a hearty appetite. I had Morris deliver us food. Were you able to secure a meal? Well, um. Useless! You have failed to eliminate the bounty hunters, and now you've led Heisme himself here! But no matter. You look tender enough for my darling's liking. What? your child. It just devoured a man. All I see is a mindless monster. <sighs> and a monster is what I see when I look upon the world. People are beasts of fear and superstition, murderers without remorse. I have done nothing they've not done to me. Abominations. They are the unnatural. They deserve to die. They should all be so glad to nourish my child. My dear, sweet child. A mother's love should nurture, but this is beyond the pale. And you, do you not condemn her? She kidnapped children, murdered them in cold blood, and would see you blamed for it. In truth, I know this woman's pain all too well. Huh? In the name of her child, she was willing to turn against the entire world. Behind her atrocities, I see the devotion of a bereaved parent. You found yourself unjustly in a terrible darkness, and I struggle to blame you. Burying your own child is unbearable. Grief and madness fill the gaps where love had been. But my eyes were opened. These people helped me see. The only way to beat the darkness is to confront it. Step by meager step. You must walk back to our reality. Look upon that and see true that it is not the child you once loved. Be silent. You know nothing of it. Your sermons better suit a preacher, but that is not your place here. You are here to be eaten. Good. Show me your hate. Pour out your darkness. We'll fight, but not in justice's name. Grief is its own death, so we will show you life! Darling, are you still hungry? Mother wants you to play with your food! <laughs> Time for supper! Eat up! All the people who disappeared... This must have been the last thing they ever saw. We break this tragic curse here and now. It's the only way we might mourn them. Let us finish this, Captain! 
We'll put an end to this horror, whatever the cost. If we can figure Face out what it me. really is, we can win. Let's get after it. Lightning! Let's work together. Not this. Flare it! Flare! No holding back! Think me no ma mage! Sleet! The power come forth, royal soul!
to get used to this. A new means of protection. Not long ago, I too had a child. But I couldn't protect him. It was in a nearby village. Some Paripus started a riot, and my son was caught in the middle of it. They beat him until he was barely recognizable. Even bloodied and battered, he clung to life. But his body was broken. He couldn't move. And not a single person came to his aid. He was a Yujif, and to them, that's all he was. But he was a helpless child, left to die in a pool of his own blood. By the time I finally got to him, it had been hours. It was too late. I had no idea. I couldn't abide it. Reality was too painful, and I ran until I was spending my nights and days in the sandworm's pit. Better to live in solitude than in the embers of hell. That was the real reason I lived in that den of beasts. I thought death would be a mercy. Eyes, mate. And then these meddlers came along. They dragged me under the night sky I'd not seen in many seasons. And beneath those stars, it finally came to me. This is not the life my son would have wanted for me. That thought changed my whole perspective. His memory deserves love, not pain. <laughs> Look with your eyes and your heart. You can ignore it no longer. You loved your child, not this creature. And the child you loved is gone. If I could have sacrificed my life instead, I swear I would have done it! I loved my son with all of my heart! I know! Nobody could ever deny you that! And now... The nightmare is over. <laughs> what do we do? Do we present this creature as evidence? I don't know. Our testimony is likely not enough to prove this monster was behind the disappearances, and it would be easily denounced as a publicity stunt. Do you recall the promise I made when first we met? I pledged my political support if you were able to solve this matter. I fear that after all this, it is a boon I can no longer provide. But if you need a head to present to the judges, perhaps it could be my own. I don't know what you mean. Please take me to the Exhibition of the Brave. I will confess the truth before the masses. Surely the evidence will be undeniable when heard from my lips. Yet as a holy woman, it would be bald-faced ignominy to Sanctifex Forden. 
you risk dire consequences, possibly even without trial. I have but one request. Before I depart, I would ensure all my duties are passed to my successor. I know I ask much of you, but would Barden and I be permitted to join you in Oceana later on? I will atone for my sins. For my son's sake, I must. What should we do? There's no guarantee she won't take this opportunity to escape. But I see her point. The people here have suffered enough unrest. If she is to leave them, she must ensure they still have guidance, else they'll fall to chaos and panic. You are our captain. The decision is ultimately yours. I'm choosing to trust Joanna. Right. You're too nice for your own good. But you might have a point about not forcing her. Our treatment of her might reflect on her confession, too. Don't want anyone saying we coerced it out of her. Then tis settled. Oh, thank you for your kindness. A thousand times. Thank you. Oh, how curious. It's as if a... The fog has finally lifted from me. I've heard the news about Lady Joanna. I will assume the duty of her escort to the exhibition, and I will ensure the warrant on Heisme is taken down. Rest assured, your bounty will be paid in full. After all, I ask that you find the true culprit, and so you did. Ha <laughs> ha! I say, we could upgrade the gauntlet runner with some extra spondulics, eh? Young man, I have a request. Could you donate a portion of the money to the bereaved families? I know it is not my place, but something must be done for them. Their pain must be unbearable. Not just some of it. It's all rightfully theirs. Well said. You'll hear no objections from me. All we really needed was a head for the exhibition. My word. You're all indeed true knights. I'll personally make sure the citizens all hear of your bravery and spirit. Just as long as you keep this out of the public ear until the exhibition, right? We can't have our opponents finding out and trying anything underhanded. You have my solemn word. I'm glad I entrusted this to you. Now then. Thanks to you that we found the truth. We'd not have revealed the culprit or the secret of the castle on our own. I agree. If Barden thinks we're true knights all, that goes double for you. If you've nowhere else to go from here, perhaps you might join us and further lend us your strength. Hmm. You're in this race to become king, are you? Not exactly. <laughs> Look. You think it'd be all right to tell Heisme the truth? We've come this far together. It's fine by me. Yes, I have no objections either. So his royal highness lives. I see now why you all fought so desperately. Would you lend us your strength? Hmm. 
You already know my answer. My life may not weigh much, but I gladly pledge it to your noble cause. If I'm to choose a lord out of loyalty instead of dependence, then there's absolutely no shame in that. Not a lord. A friend. Here, here. Right. I wish I could have done more to help in Martira. I was so ready to prove myself, too. Hmm? But maybe I found something better. A goal worth chasing. So I'm gonna focus on that from now on. The mystical fairy, Gallica. Keeper and heritor of the mage's virtues. Through thy shared bond, a new heroic embodiment slumbering within thee has come to blossom. Bear this new power, foster this connection, and by their strength, fulfill thy destiny. It's you and me. Our destinies are intertwined. Okay, now all we have to do is head to Brylehaven and wait for Joanna to arrive. Ah, about that. Dash it inconvenient, but there's apparently been a landslide on the valley road. Utterly impassable. The old road crews should have the mess cleared by the competition, so until then, your time is yours to waste. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. The deadline is... True. Take a look. Pardon? Oh, you. Hmm. The truth is... Thank you. Let me say it again. The town is safe now, thanks to you. Couldn't be more grateful to you. Pardon! I heard you fix up the hole in my shop's wall while I was gone. Oh, I could kiss you! Why, it were no trouble at all. Your bonny wife had need of help, and we all have need of your shop. Well, that may be, but I never knew a captain to be so generous. My only wish is to render assistance in any way I can. Whatever we matters I can take care of, I will. Even if they might not turn out as well as yours did. What the hell? You bumped into me? Well, who could avoid those massive ears, you damn ressant? Looks like I need to go keep a brawl at bay. Hey, listen, both of you, enough already. Sorry about that. Right tragedy for the town hero to see something so disgraceful. 
I'm not bothered, but are you? <laughs> oh, my skin ain't that thin yet. It's just that kind of manky scene has been more common lately. Neighbors coming to blows, good lads fighting. Whole town is right anxious. And that's what I wanted to discuss with you. I'm curious about you and your pals. You're all of different tribes, eh? Even got Hai's made to join up with you. How exactly did you get so many different people to come together as one? We have a shared vision, one which will benefit everyone. That answer's befitting of you. So that's what brought you all together. And you're the idealistic leader. So it is. What we need here is a leader everyone acknowledges. We need a new system where the people themselves govern the town. I think that sounds like a fine idea. I'm much assured by your words. Thanks for being so accommodating. If you can manage it, would you help me out again sometime? With your consult, I know this town will keep getting better. Of course. I'd like to keep helping you. Oh, that would be a great help. Thank you. With your support, I'll be sure to make this town a nicer place to live. The Honorable Guardsman, Baden. Within him dwells the virtue of the Commander. Nurture thy bond with him, and a new power yet slumbering within thee may awaken. I shall protect the town you all saved. I'd be glad if you came back soon. I'll try to have good news for you by then. It's you. Uh. 
I see. Truth is, oh. Thanks. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. All right, then. All right, then. Thank <laughs> you. 
I see. Fascinating. This right here. All right. I'm counting on you. Of course. Yeah. Ugh, a new power to wield. I found new power. New skills, new possibilities. Good. I'm still getting stronger. New skills, new possibilities. Fascinating. This right here. All right. I'm counting on you. I found new power. I see. Fascinating. I'm counting. New skills, new possibilities. I see. Fascinating. I'm ca I found new power. I see. Fascinating. I'm counting on you. Oh. New skills, new possibilities. I see. Fascinating. Good. I'm still getting stronger. I see. Fascinating. I'm counting on you. New skills, new possibilities. I'll be waiting. Now, where was I? Oh. You don't say. Incredible. All right. <sighs> Did I? What? Not quite. What? It appears that...
It'll be fine. I must apologize. Yeah. All right, then. Oh, it's you. Truth is, no, no. Take this. Hey. <sighs> yeah. Thanks.
Oh, definitely. Use my nobility for good. <sighs> hmm. Oh, hold on. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. This one's important. All right. Let's head back. All right, then. 